Hey guys, Chuck with RV Tech Tips. Um, on this video, we're gonna diagnose why this Dometic thermostat is. So here's the thermostat. There's no display. Turn it on, off, nothing. I don't know what's wrong with it yet. We're gonna diagnose it in real time, see if we can figure it out. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, look at the uh, connectors on the on the control board of the air conditioner. So this air conditioner uses a phone cable like this. So I already plugged these in or took them apart and plugged them back in. It's kind of hard to film that, but it's just a phone cable. So we'll go back to the thermostat, see if anything changed. Okay. EE, that means there's an error, a communication error. So let's reset the thermostat. Okay, so to reset it, it's kind of hard to film it, but so we turn the thermostat on, hit mode and zone. Oh shoot, how am I gonna do this? Okay, hit mode and zone, turn it off for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn it off, it should say FF. Ooh. If, it, if that would have worked, it would have just operated properly, but we still have an issue. A communication issue probably with that cable because as soon as I jiggled it then we got that display so I'm gonna probably just maybe cut them and uh, put a new connector on it all right before I go and cut the connectors I'm gonna I made me a little test cable here that I'm going to hook to the thermostat just bypassing the cable that's already in the wall. So I took the thermostat off the wall, plug it in. Let's turn it back on. So, it says EE still. All right, so let's try resetting it again. Top and bottom, off for five seconds. Back on, FF, that means it reset, and we still got a problem. So the problem is probably with the cable, with this cable that runs from here up inside the air conditioner. All right, so we're on the roof of the air conditioner, or the RV. Here's the air conditioner, and those are the plugs that go down to the uh, the connectors down underneath. You wanna make sure you unplug before you start messing with anything in here, because you got uh, high voltage all up in here, so make sure you're unplugged. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug one of those and hook up the thermostat to directly to it. Okay, so I got my test cable hooked up to one of the phone plugs on the board. And let's see what happens. So turn it on. And we got a display. Let's see if you can see that. All right, it's working. So now all we gotta do is run this cable down inside and it should be good to go. Okay, so we ran our new cable this is our new cable and I also put a new connector in there just just in case so now we'll go to the thermostat moment of truth and see if it worked let's turn it on I don't know if you can see that but it is on we got fan cool heat pump furnace and zone 2 so, we got it fit. Just needed a new cable. Uh, one quick note, um, the, uh, I'm calling these phone cables, but they're not actually phone cables. That's called communication cables. So if you look, I don't know if you can see. Anyways, the wires in these connectors on phone cable are reversed. So you'd have black on the left, 
on one end and then black on the right on the other. But communication cable is the same order. So black, red, green, yellow, black, red, green, yellow. So if you went to go buy a, uh, a phone cable, it wouldn't work. You'd have to get a communication cable. All right, well, that's it. We got another one fixed. Thanks for watching.